morning grade 5 how are you all today so today we are going to start off with our unit 4 what are we going to start off with our unit 4 and the topic that we are going to start off with is um ha uh, just now uh, on the 15th of august what did we have independence day Independence Day was all about India, right? So today we are going to talk about all about India. Where is India located? Who the neighbors of India are? And uh, you'll get to know all about India today. Okay. So now let us start off with, okay. I want you all to open your course books, okay, to page number one while I'll be teaching you. Okay. So where is India located? Is India located in the Northern Hemisphere or in the Southern Hemisphere? So is it located in the Northern Hemisphere? Yes, right? Now, now let's talk about geographically, India is located in South of Asia. Where is it located? In South of Asia. It is a country with a huge population and it is well protected from all directions naturally. We Indians are protected from all the directions, north, south, east, west, naturally. Okay. Uh, it is famous for its great cultural and traditional values. Now we have a lot of cultural values. We have a lot of traditional values. And that is the reason why we are famous, right? India is a land of great diversities. We have different types of landforms. We have different types of climates. We have different types of natural vegetation. Okay, and we have different types of uh, animals also. That's why we say that our country is amazing. Yes. Now, India is one of the largest democracy in the uh, world. Okay. And the home to the second largest population after China with a population of 1 billion. So, we have the second largest population in the world. The largest population is that of China. India locates between 8 degrees 4 minutes north and 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes and between 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 uh, degrees 25 minutes east latitude. The Tropic of Cancer 23 and a half degrees north passes almost halfway through the country. Now Tropic of Cancer passes almost halfway through our country covering about an area of 33.28 million square kilometers square million kilometers india becomes the third largest country in asia and the seventh largest country in the world so ours is the third largest country in asia and it is the seventh largest country in the world india's maximum east west expanse is approximately 2900 kilometers and north south expanse is around 3,200 kilometers. The east-west expanse is greater near the center of India. So, let me just explain it to you with the help of diagram. This is India. Okay. So, in the north, we have 37, okay, degrees, 6 minutes north. This is the north of India. And then in the south, we have Kanyakumari, that is 8 degrees 4 minutes, okay. This is also north only because we are in the northern hemisphere, right? Now, in the east, that is near Gujarat, we have 68 degrees, 7 minutes east, okay. These are the coordinates of India, okay. And this way it is 97 degrees, 25 minutes east, have we understood this simple thing? Okay. Now, north south India is three thousand two hundred and fourteen kilometers. Okay, and east this way is India is two thousand nine hundred and thirty three kilometers. Okay, this much is clear, right? Okay, on the world map. India is located in the north and northern and the eastern hemisphere. India lies at the center of the southern part of Asia at the head of the Indian Ocean. The Indian subcontinent is land mass jutting out in the Indian Ocean. Now Indian subcontinent is the land mass 
which is jutting out in the Indian Ocean. Now, this is the Indian Ocean and this is the Indian subcontinent where the landmass is jutting out, right? Now, the, uh, with the Arabian Sea lying in the west and the Bay of Bengal lying in the east, since the, since the southern part of India is surrounded by water bodies on three sides, the region is known as Indian Peninsula. This region is known as Indian Peninsula because three uh, th on three sides it has water bodies surrounding. Now let's talk about the southernmost point of India is uh, uh, Indra Point and it is in the Great Nicobar Island. The length of coastline of India is around 6100 uh, kilometers. So coastline means this area which is on the coast. Sea is here, ocean is here, Indian Ocean is here. Okay. And this is what? This is the coastline. And this coastline is around 6100 kilometers. Okay. Who are our neighbors? Okay. So your neighbors are people who just live near you. So today we are going to talk about neighbors of India. Okay. Who are the neighbors of our country? Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar. Okay. We have seven neighbors. Okay. At its boundary, Pakistan and Afghanistan are located in the northwest. They are located in the north. This area is for Pakistan and Afghanistan. China, Nepal and Bhutan are located in the northeast. China, Bhutan and Nepal are located in the northeast. Okay, and uh, uh, Bangladesh and Myanmar are also located this way only. The Bay of Bengal lies to the east and Indian Ocean to its south and Arabian Sea to the west. To the south our neighbors are Sri Lanka, Maldives and Sri Lanka and Maldives. Okay, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh together form a huge landmass commonly referred to as Indian subcontinent. India comprises of 28 states and 8 union territory. Delhi is the capital of India. We already know that Delhi is the capital of India. 8 union territories are Andaman and Nicobar, Chandigarh, Delhi, Radhar and Nagar Hameli, Daman and Diu, okay, Lakshadweep and Puducherry. Okay, so this is the map of India. Okay. And this is the political map of India. I want you all to go through your atlases this time. Okay. So next class onwards, I would be needing your atlas, which would be very, 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 very handy for you. Take care, children. Happy learning. Do read your course book. Content sheet 1, week 1, unit 4. Thank you so much.